Sean, talk about this week. Talk about the decision. You're the starter. Uh, I know Mike brought, brought you into his office. Tell us what happened. Uh, well, it was just uh, before meetings on Monday, he just brought me in and, and let me know uh, I was going to be the starter. So uh, something I'm obviously really excited about. A lot of work went into it. Um, so it's something I, I kind of just want to take advantage of, of the opportunity and make the most of it. Sean, how excited were you? Because we knew you guys both wanted it really, really bad. So when you got that news, did you have to hold it in at all a little bit, the excitement? You know, it, it was a... Uh, it's the kind of thing where, you know, I know Cody obviously wanted to play too, but um, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Uh, yeah, when he, when he told me, I was really excited, but, um, you know, I, I, I kind of kept to myself mostly because I wasn't sure, you know, if, who, who knew or whatever. So I, I kept it to myself, but I, uh, I was definitely excited. Did what it change the way you practiced or, or how the ball came out? No, I don't, I don't think so. I, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I felt great, you know, the last two days. Um, but yeah, I, my mentality in practice hasn't changed, you know, whether I'm competing for the job or, or whether I'm the starter, I'm going to practice the same way and just keep working hard to become the best player I can be. So what do you think you know, kind of pushed the decision, the scales in your in your favor? Because it was close. It wasn't a lot of separation. You know, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm, in, I'm in no position to really say. I uh, I was really happy with with how I how I had been playing throughout throughout camp. Um, you know, I just try to be consistent, protect the ball be accurate. Um, you know, I think I did all those things, but for me to, to sit here and try to judge what may or may not have been, I, I don't think I'm in that position to, to really say that. The, this, go ahead, Gary. The, the team seemed all camp to be supportive of both of you. Have you felt like uh, it's been pretty seamless now that the decision's been made? Yeah, I'd say so. I, you know, I, I think I've been asked that before about, uh, you know, if there was like factions or anything, and that was, that was, there was nothing, nothing like that, you know, throughout this whole thing. You know, obviously, you know, our team has been really supportive, both me and Cody. Um, and you know, I think it's like you said, it's been seamless going into going into practice. Now it hasn't, there hasn't been any sort of, you know, picking one guy or the other. And there was never anything like that. And I think that it's maintained that way. You know, since uh, since Monday. Sean, obviously, the, the decision making, is something that you know you talked about with a number of people. What have you done specifically uh, to improve that? And what have you seen in watching film from last year when you struggled with it? You know, I think it's just. Uh, I think part of it comes with experience. I think a lot of it comes with you know film work. Um, I think I've just kind of learned when to check it down, when to when to take a shot. I think uh, that's something I've hit on in the past, but I think it's something that I've continued to grow in. Um, you know, both both in experiences on the field and, and watching film off of it. Is there something tangible when you look at the first three games from last year compared to the last set, last seven, or is it just a matter of missing split second windows? Uh, you know, I, when I look back at you know games last year, you know, towards the beginning of the season or end, I don't. I don't think there's really one thing. I think it, you know, is a variety of things. I, I think every play is kind of different. I think I know Links always hits on that with us is that treat every play as its as its own own thing. And um, you know, I think when I look at the game sort of the end of the season last year, you know, there were definitely certain mistakes, but I don't think it was one thing that kept happening. How do you like just being so responsible, being the starting quarterback, being a co-captain? You're now a junior, one of the team leaders. How do you how do you like having all that responsibility? Well, I, it's uh, it's something that you know means a lot to me. Um, obviously, being a starter, but uh, I've said this before. But I think being a, named a captain for the second time is probably my proudest achievement in football. Um, to have that kind of respect for my teammates is, uh, you know, it means a lot to me. But like you said, there is a lot of responsibility that comes with that, and it comes with being the starter. So I think it's something that um, obviously I'm very proud of. But at the same time, I know it comes with a lot of responsibility, and you know, hopefully I can I can you know live up to the expectations that my teammates have set for me. What do you see in the Eastern Washington defense that concerns you? You know they're good. They're uh, you know they're a national title contender. You know in the one double A. So I think uh, you know they're going to be an outstanding team. Um, from what I've seen on film, you know they look sharp. They look like they're a real sound team. They're going to do some stuff. They disguise well. Um, so it's just something we're going to have to continue to study. But so far I've been impressed with what, they, what they've been doing. Are you confident that the rest of the team is is making sure that uh, everything's covered on this team even though it's one double a it's a good one. Oh, absolutely that's something that you know i know we've we've hit on many times in in uh you know in, in our offensive meetings you know these guys are, are a title contender and we can we can just tell by the film that they're a good team they have good athletes you know they're strong up front they're sound in what they do so it's something where it's just evident in film that that this is a team we can't we can't overlook but ultimately it's about us if we if we come out and play our best football mm -hmm. You know, you know, we'll let the game take care of itself. Sean, go ahead. Hey, Sean, Sean. In the first four games last season, you've thrown for a lot of yardage and stuff. Now, is the is the slate more wiped clean, or do you want to get back to that level? What are you thinking as you head into this season? You know, I, I every I treat every season as it's as its new thing. I don't, 
you know, I'm not going to look back at the first four games last year and say, oh, I want to, you know, have so many more yards than I did then. It's not like that. I think it's just take it one game at a time and, and take it one play at a time, really. You know, see what I can do on this one play and then good or bad, move on to the next one. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't try to look back very much and compare, you know, something that hadn't even happened yet to what happened last year. Sean, last, uh, last for me, uh, Lang said that he doesn't want you looking over your shoulder. Uh, mentally, have you, do, do you feel that way? Do you feel loose? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, uh, you know, I, I have, you know, the utmost confidence in our coaches. And, um, you know, I think it's something that, that Langs has discussed with me. And, and uh, you know, I, the way I'm looking at it is just don't look back. You know, just take this and don't look back and, and uh, you know, take advantage of, of, you know, another opportunity to be the starter. So, um, you know, I, I, I try not to worry about, you know, looking over my shoulder or anything like that. But it's, uh, you know, I'm just, I just want to kind of take the reins and, and continue to play good football. Yes, Siri.